Tourism is an area of major economic development in Spain, and particularly in the islands, where it accounts for a high percentage of annual revenue. This is the case of Fuerteventura, in the Canary Islands, which welcomes around 2 million tourists every year. Therefore, tourism and service infrastructures have to be constantly refurbished and updated to make the island ready for the large influx of visitors. Passenger traffic by sea is on the rise, and the port of Puerto del Rosario in Fuerteventura needs to extend its facilities so that large-sized cruise ships can berth there. The extension of the current cruise ship berth in Puerto del Rosario has thus become a strategic project that is vital for the island's development. ACCIONA was awarded the project to extend the port's cruise ship berth as a result of its extensive experience building marine structures and its innovative capacity in terms of environmentally responsible and efficient solution. The proposed solution consists of the construction of two 12-meter diameter circular caissons made of composite materials to serve as new mooring points, also known as dolphins. This innovative solution is a milestone in the civil engineering field. The aim is to considerably reduce the time spent and the complexity of construction of a conventional reinforced concrete caisson and to take advantage of the benefits of composites. One of these advantages is the lighter weight of the structure, which makes it easier to position it in its final location. Another advantage is the ease of installation and its unchangeable and impermeable nature. These give the caisson the properties required to resist particularly corrosive conditions, such as the high humidity and salinity commonly found in a marine environment. Furthermore, the production and installation processes for these materials are more environmentally friendly as up to 75% of CO2 emissions to the atmosphere are avoided in comparison with the current construction technique for floating caissons. The sections that make up the structure of the caisson are made in Jerez de la Frontera, in southern Spain, from fiberglass and epoxy resin. They are then assembled on site, avoiding the need for more complex machinery. The main elements of the structure are the core at the base, the base itself, the filling materials, and the walls of the caisson. Depending on its composition, the parts can be monolithic pieces of fiberglass with an organic matrix, or a sandwich-type structure involving the adhesion of two surfaces to a low-density, thick central core. After manufacture of all the parts of the caisson, they are assembled on site in Puerto del Rosario. The first step is the preparation of the area that will house the base of the caisson, where all the parts are welded together. In this case, a concrete base is manufactured to act as an auxiliary element to give consistency to the structure during the assembly process. And the next step is the construction of the base of the caisson. The different parts of the base adhere to each other and to the core to achieve the required consistency. Each section of the wall of the caisson is then put in place and the contact zones between them are welded. Only one crane is needed in this phase, due to the low weight of the parts. Each section of the wall is pinned to the ground to avoid any movement taking place. Once the perimeter is closed, the walls are unpinned because there is no longer any danger of the structure moving. The caisson is lowered into the sea with the help of the heavy lift crane used in the assembly phase. The base is then concreted and the caisson is filled with other granular materials to increase its weight and stability. Once it is stabilized in the sea, the caisson is towed to its final position and anchored on a previously prepared bedding layer.
The last step is to build the superstructure, followed by the placing auxiliary elements and the footbridge to connect both caissons to the pier. This new infrastructure, which gives Puerto del Rosario a berth that can accommodate bigger cruise ships, is a great boost to the tourism sector in the area and will lead to higher revenues for the island of Fuerteventura. The benefit to the environment is also clear, with less impact during the construction phase and lower levels of waste and gas and pollutant emissions in the atmosphere. Thanks to the new technologies and materials used, the new structure is lighter, more durable, and more stable. It also requires less maintenance and conservation work. Finally, because heavy machinery is not required for its installation, there is a reduction in the surface area occupied and assembly time, a lower risk of discharge of substances into the sea, and less noise pollution. Once more, ACCIONA has provided an innovative solution that involves four times less CO2 emissions than the conventional construction technique. This means that the affected surface area on the seabed is 20% smaller, while minimizing the impact on marine ecosystems and species. Yet again, ACCIONA shows its commitment to sustainable development and respect for the environment.